So I just figured out a simple method on exporting from ZBrush to Maya. Uh, I'll reference a link to another artist who has another method, but um, ZBrush prefers most of its objects to be about two centimeters, and you could be you could have objects a bit smaller, one centimeter to four centimeters, but it generally creates things like the cylinder. If we check out under geometry size, things in the two centimeter range. It seems to be its kind of ideal scale to work in. So. I've uh, adapted this head into the sculpt right now, it's very early on, but the XYZ scale, in this case the Y scale is the height scale, just like in Maya, uh, it's the same in Zebra. so t 2 centimeters high is how high the this subtool is. Um, so if I want this thing to be about a foot tall, that would be 12 inches or roughly 30 centimeters. So I found this little trick, um, basically if you do the math, if you want to be exact, you could take this number and divide it into 30 centimeters or a foot to get a factor but basically if you multiply this by 15 times you'll get roughly 30 centimeters so I'm going to go to the export options and under scale set the scale 15 times so now if I go Z this it's already set to Maya it should send that subtool over and here it is inside of um, Maya so if I go into the create menu under measure tools, distance, I'm going to just hold V to snap to vertex, grab one vertex roughly at the bottom, one at the top, and you can see I'm just about at 30 centimeters or one foot. So that should uh, help you get relatively clean exports um, to and from uh, ZBrush. And if we do something else here, let's say if I grab some vertices, sorry, let's grab some vertices, I'll hit the soft select then send this back it should send it back correctly and I'm still working within you know technically the mesh is still actually at its original scale so my brushes will still work um, properly I can you know still make adjustments and then send this back over if I need to